Welcome, everyone. Today, I'm thrilled to show you a wonderful way to turn those scrap fabrics into something truly beautiful, a fabric flower hair clip using the applique method. Trust me, you'll wanna stick around till the end because the end result is absolutely stunning. All right, let's dive right in. First, gather your favorite scrap fabrics. Remember, this is where you can get creative. Mix and match colors and patterns to your heart's content. Now, using a template or freehand if you're feeling adventurous, trace out your flower petal shapes onto the fabric. Don't worry about perfection. The beauty of handmade items lies in their uniqueness. Carefully cut out the trace shapes. Take your time with this step, ensuring smooth edges for your petals. Next, arrange your petals into a pleasing flower shape, contrasting fabric base as petals and a darker or lighter center to make the flower pop up. Using glue, dab some on the center of the petal and place them on a middleweight stabilizer that will serve as fabric base for our gorgeous flower hair clip. One by one as we place our petals, we can somehow plan what would be the perfect center color for our flower. Using glue is a little bit on the practical side of our budget than the usual fusible web or iron heat bond. But of course it is your choice which one would make your sewing more steady as we stitch our flower onto the base. I picked a plain pink fabric since our petals are printed. I think it this will make our flower more dimensional. There we go, we have our first flower with fabric base. Since there are more petals left, I decided to just make the rest. Almost done with this one. Soon as it dries, we can cut and proceed to the sewing machine. I think this red fabric made this one stand out. Carefully cut the fabric base just a hint closer to the fabric petals. It will be much easy for use to stitch and it will prevent us snipping the petals through the cutting process. I used a zigzag stick on the edges of the petals, slowly rotating the fabric to cover the curve edges of the petals. Then, I also stitched the center of the flower which will give it a nice textured look as it will hold the center fabric since we just used a dab of glue on the center. The main thing why we only glued the center is we can freely sew the edges of our petals. With heat bond web, we are sometimes needing to change the needles since sometimes the elastic content of the web makes our needles a little dull. I decided to double the stitches since I used a pink thread. 
It will accentuate the flower petals more if you run the stitches a second time. Next is covering our hair clip with felt. I used a teardrop snap hair clip for this project. Trace the clip on the desired color of felt. We will cut two pieces. Using the clip, let's mark our felt by locating the center metal. Mark the two spaces near the top of the clip. The we will use those dots as our boundary as we make a small cut. This is so we can insert the center metal part of the clip, so we can enclose the whole snap clip with felt. With our bestie glue gun, let's seal the edges of the felt stabilizing the metal clip at the center. They look like rainbow leeches. Okay, my imagination again. Anyways, I found out that felt is best when you are using hot glue for embellishments. Our fabric flowers will be sturdy on this felt covered clips, plus it adds more color for our hair accessory. I added rainbow string and looped it twice. I placed it just slightly under our fabric flower. It looks magical. Our applique fabric flower. I hope you enjoyed our tutorial. Liking and subscribing to my channel will help me make more content. Till next time, smile and be happy.